Good evening. I'm Desi Lydic. And I'm Dulce Sloan. This month, we've been uncovering the true stories of women who were shafted. Because throughout history, women have been constrained by things like gender roles, cultural biases, and spanks. So, mm, constricting. Mm-hmm. But tonight, we tell a different story. Sarah Howe was a 19th century entrepreneur who did reach her full potential through ingenuity and perseverance. Warning, the following content might inspire you. <laughs> Born in the early 1800s, Sarah grew up hustling as a fortune teller and horoscope reader. What is it? What is it? Mm. You're going to give me $5 and then something good will happen to you. Oh, okay, 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 here you go. She even worked as a doctor, despite having no medical training. And uh, what we want to do is we want to pour the tonic right over the abdomen. That looks like milk. Hmm? Yes, no, of course it's milk. It'll make his stomach bone stronger. Good. She was shadier than R. Kelly running a Girl Scout troop. But in 1879, Sarah left all that petty swindling behind and turned to her true calling, stacking that cheddar. She started the Ladies' Deposit, a woman-only investment fund. When Sarah doubled her clients' investments within a year, women started handing over their money like they were at a Ryan Gosling kissing booth. This sounds great. Here's all my money. You do know what they say. Cash rules everything around us. <laughs> doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? OK, give it up. And the most amazing part was, it was all bullshit. What bad chick you deserve every single dollar in your assets Make me wanna come and do the honest forecast says You gon' have some money raining on you with a chance It's gon' last all the way to tomorrow Sarah was running one of the first and most successful investment fraud schemes in history She was basically Bernie Madoff in a bustle Sarah made over half a million dollars Which would equal around 11 million today And she preyed on over 1,200 women Which today still equals a lot of bitches Madam I'm sorry to tell you, but Sarah Howe has stolen all of your money. My money was stolen by a woman? Oh, I'm so proud. But eventually, the lady's deposit was exposed, and the police deposited Sarah into jail. Sarah spent three years in jail for her crimes, but the true prison was her gender. Because half a century later, her legacy was stolen by a man named Charles Ponzi, Charles, Mr. Ponzi, who became the namesake of the very scheme Sarah perfected, the Ponzi scheme. And she was dead by then, looking down from heaven, watching Ponzi get all the glory. Well, she was probably looking up from hell, but it was still messed up. Mother. But tonight we salute Sarah Howe, who shattered the glass ceiling of financial crime. Thanks to her, women everywhere can aspire to lie, cheat, and steal. Just like men. That's all for Shafted. Tune in next time to hear about a woman so brilliant, so unrelenting, her vagina almost didn't get in the way. Almost. <laughs>